I worked in Toronto in the 60s, you know, when the Yorkville was just starting to happen. And uh, we had a group called the Minor Birds. And uh, when Neil came with the group, I found Neil in a coffee house. He was like playing acoustic guitar. And when he came with us, uh, I decided I wanted to. I just got out from New York and I saw the 11 Spoonful and I blew my mind. I said, I want to go folk R&B. You know, I had a concept for uh, soul music to be like R&B with acoustic guitars. And I, and, I, and I ran into Neil and he's playing in a, in a coffee house. And I said, wow, that's perfect. He can come, you know. Rick was, uh, he was great when I was playing with him. I'd like to play with him again sometime, actually. And the first gig we ever did with him, his first solo, he, he was like so rambunctious, he was so happy to be playing this music, you know, with this group. And uh, I mean, he was excited about it, because it was like a group, you know, it was great. He had, and he hadn't done that. He leaped out and he soloed away, and we all look back and there's no chord. And he's soloing away, he's going... Uh, everybody laughed, it was crazy. <laughs> and Neil Young and us, we got signed to Motown. Minor Birds were with Motown. Yeah, I hear there, that there's an album out that may one day be released once it's finished up yeah. with a few songs. Yeah. How do you think you feel about that now? The integrity of it to me. See, Neil isn't singing, so he's he's cool about it. He says, wow, I, said, I want that to come out. He said, wouldn't that be great having that recognized? I said, no, I don't think it would be so great, you know, because I sound like shit. <laughs> me and Neil Young, we used to get together and we used to talk in those days of poverty and, and music, and uh, he wanted to be bigger than Dylan. You know, this is what he wanted. He wanted this, and he believed this was going to happen. He was he wanted to be bigger than Bob Dylan, and I wanted to be. It came to a point. I wanted to be bigger than Sly Stone. Uh, he dreamed about being the next Mick Jagger when I knew him. <laughs>